All right, what's up, everybody? Dallas Stone here today. Um, so I'm just gonna continue working on what I currently have. Uh, I know that the updates have been very little. Uh, again, mostly because a lot of the stuff that I was doing, I, I was just like, I don't know what people would be interested in watching, and I just kept seeing progress um, moving along really slowly. So I just kind of, on my own time, was working on this stuff and just trying to figure out as much as I could. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to go in here and I'm going to... I'm looking at this to see... Uh, like I probably... Mm, you know what, I'm just going to leave this for now. I'm going to leave this for now. Uh, I'm just going to do some texturing. So uh, this is kind of where the scene's at right now. Um, I will be doing a separate tutorial on how I was able to get this uh, belt to wrap around this sheath. Um, it was... I tried a lot of different things. Uh, I tried some ZBrush, uh, insert mesh multi-tools and stuff like that, and that didn't end up panning out. Um, so yeah, so I'll, I'll definitely go through that in a separate tutorial video. Uh, today I just kind of wanted to give an, an update on this asset here. Um, so yeah, so let's load this up here. I believe um, soon here I'm going to have to, if I don't, I know Substance I think is doing an update. So I'm curious to see... What that's gonna what's gonna happen with my substance painter I, i'm pretty sure i don't have to subscribe if i don't want the new features that they're gonna put in um so sorry i'm kind of tired um so we'll see I'll, I'll have to see um if the upgrade that's gonna happen in the next uh week is worth it or not so um, so yeah, so actually I'm just going to show you some work in progress renders. So for some of you who have mentioned that you follow me on Twitter, uh, and if you don't, follow me on Twitter. Um, I've been posting up some uh, whips, uh, work in progress shots uh, in Marmoset. So these are from Marmoset. Um, just kind of at the end of when I try, when I uh, stream or when I record, afterwards I tend to bring it into uh, Marmoset. Um, so here's just some work in progress shots here and this is uh, another work in progress shot of the sword with the sheath right now and this is the latest I believe it's the latest uh, so that's from three days ago all right so here we are um, where's my tablet pen uh, for those who are curious uh, for personal use I have a Wacom bamboo um, the bamboo is obviously the lower end of the Wacom tablets and um, it was one that I bought way back when I was uh, um, I think I was just a new professional 3d artist and I was like okay I just need a, a small uh, tablet for now so all right, so let's. I noticed that this inside here doesn't have a color. Let me check out my references to see what color um, this is. This actually is inside. I don't know if there's a, actually an image that shows what that would be. The inside of a sheath. If I had to guess, it would probably be like this gold here. And just looking at this gold, I'm noticing that it's like, this is way too gold. So I'm just gonna go back to the gold armor material here and I'm just gonna change the base color. Cause this is pretty yellow. I'm gonna dial this back a little bit and um, let this update here. Um, so that looks already a little bit better um, compared to what it was before. I think I'm gonna dial it back even a little bit more. Yeah, I think something like that. It's a little bit more along the lines of what the real color is. The other one was like really, really, um, really strong. 
Um, so, so that's gonna be my gold here. Now I need to apply this gold onto this uh, part of the mesh. So I'm just going to go to my mask here and I'm gonna go to paint and I'm just going to go to selection, which is right up here or hotkey is three or four, sorry. And then I'm going to select the UV shells, I believe. Uh, this should be a separate UV shell, I hope. Unless I'm lying here. Uh, did it do it? Yep, yeah, there we go. So there we have it. So now it's also golden there. Um, to see it better, I'm just gonna go back to brush. And now when you look inside, you'll see that. Um, so I'm just kind of going in and just filling in temporary materials for now, just to kind of uh, get the look that I want. And I think that that's pretty much it. I have like the feeling that I want to create here for this. Um, I have the metals where I want it. I have um, the gold where I want it. And it's looking relatively close. I'm going to just quickly save this here. Take a little drink of my coconut juice. Coconut water. Okay. Um, so there's a few things on the sheath here um, that I want to address. Okay. So first off, the sheath has a pattern. So if you look, there's a pattern, right? Um, so how am I going to tackle that pattern? Oh, what am I doing? I'm drawing. Oops. Let me get out of here. Cancel that. Um, let's exit out of that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there's this pattern going on here. So first off, I'm just going to check to make sure that this works. So the leather, where's the leather? So this is the leather here. Um, I'm going to create a new, I'm going to create a new fill layer inside the feather. Uh, did I create that? No, it's right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this inside the leather. So because I, I have a layer with a mask already on it, it's only going to apply this layer onto the, the area where I have um, the leather. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a black mask to say, um, don't apply this uh, material to anything yet. I'm going to go to the actual fill. I don't, all I want really is height and normal map on this for now. Um, and I am going to, how do I want to do this? Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? Let me and think about this for a sec here. So the fill right now. Okay, so let's just test this out. If I throw in an alpha, let's say, let's pick something that's close to that. So it's kind of like that shape. It's kind of like that. So if I throw in something like that just for funsies hold on they might have some more cool stuff in here even something like this is closer to that shape again I'm just doing this as a test um, I'm just trying to find to see if there's anything in the defaults here that could fit the bill okay so I think that Okay, I think what we had up top is probably best suited for it. So I'm going to go back up here and we're going to use something like this. We're going to throw this into the height. All right, so we're going to throw this into the height. Um, no, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. Uh, So if I go into here, hmm, how do I tile this? That is the question. How do I tile it? 
Okay, let's 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 go back and reverse engineer some of this stuff here. Um, so leather pattern. So this is the leather pattern that they have, and they're just kind of scaling it about ten times with the height. So if I go to here, and then I do throw this into that. Because this is black right now, I'm not seeing it. So that's so that's the problem. Okay, so let me just undo that. So let's go in and let's paint. So this is the mask. So I'm gonna paint the mask. So I'm gonna go add paint, um, and I'm gonna go to uh, selection mode, and I'm going to select. Um, okay, so actually I have a mask that's already pretty good. So I'm just going to. I'm gonna take this mask. Let me see. Can I copy this mask? Uh, I'm gonna copy mask. I'm gonna paste the mask. Let's see if that works. Okay, so that works. Um, no, I'm not. Okay, so now paste the mask into here. Um, so now if I go. Hmm, so we have this in there. If I paint and Okay, let's just let's let's just try it. So now if I throw this into the height, you're gonna start to see that it's trying to add some stuff into there. So now if I scale this up to um I don't know, twenty. Whoa, what did I just do? Uh twenty you're gonna to start to see that to see how that's come along here. Um, let's go 100. Okay, so that's definitely not what we want. That looks pretty. Uh, let's go 200. So now it's scaling it pretty bad, pretty pretty bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna adjust this here. I'm gonna go add, and I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna go black um, from the mask. I'm gonna go object. I'm just gonna delete that there. Come on. There. See, so now it's only showing inside the areas that I wanted to show. Right? Uh, so I'm just going to go to the height here or go to this mask. Um, and this shape is definitely not the shape that I want. Right? Um, I mean, I can play with the curves and stuff like that to make it more or less like it. The UV scale is currently at 128 and still looks kind of meh uh, at best, right? So, um, so the curve is definitely a little bit too much. Let me change the gradient here. See if that can f help me fix that. No. Nope. There we go. So that's definitely a lot better. So even something like that already looks a lot cleaner than what I want. So if I go like 0 0.01, it gives me that subtle kind of look, which is actually pretty good. And if I go 0 0.01 here, there we go, there we go. So we turn something pretty bleh to not bad, right? Um, and then let me see here. Um, if I go to curve, let me just change the curve here. So if I change the curve, it creates more of like that look that strains it out a lot more. Um, and then what I can also do is I can rotate the UVs as well, right? So I can go something more straight if I wanted. So something 130. Let's go 130, see if that, how that looks. No, so 135 maybe. There. Uh, let me check chat. Nope, no one's in chat. It's fine, that's cool. Um, so yeah, so 
Now, if I want to make my life easier, what I should do is actually cut some UVs, like make some cuts here so that this is different compared to this. Um, so I can definitely definitely do that as well. Um, it might actually be recommended to actually go in and do that. Um, to be honest, though, I don't know how close people are going to be looking at at the sheath, right? Um, so what I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this like pattern or something, um, sheath pattern. Um, let me take a look at my wireframe just to see if I go to four mode or let's go paint. Hmm. If I just go in. Okay, well, let's let's do that as a detail pass for now. Not bad. But what I it looks like I actually do have faces here. And what I can do is I can have I can paint the mask, I can paint the mask, leave the mask in here as white and make this face here black, which means that this pattern will only show up in these two faces all the way up um, to the sword. And then that way I can put a new, a different pattern on this sides here, uh, which is something that I probably want to do. Um, but for now, we'll leave it as is, um, and we'll move. We'll we'll, slow, we'll go back and work on that later. For now, not bad. Um, the leather, the pattern doesn't look too too bad. It's actually looking pretty cool. Okay, um, now let's go back and. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna, Take a little sicker. Okay. Um, let's move on to. I want to add some fake holes, holes, inside this belt. So I originally um, beveled and and created these awesome holes uh, physically, like I actually made holes inside the geo. Now that really made some ugly geo and I was like oh my god like do I really want to go in and, and create all these holes so I was like no forget it uh, I'm just gonna create holes so uh, to fake those holes I'm gonna create another um, create another layer here and in here I'm gonna add a black mask again uh, I will need for this material, I will need a. I won't need roughness. I won't need metalness. I will need color. Um, and and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add paint. And then I'm going to. How am I going to do this? Let's um. I don't want to do this. Um, okay, so first off, I'm going to go back to the material. I'm going to go to height. I'm going to go negative two. Okay, so negative two in the height means that it's going to bump into the geo. And then I'm going to start painting in these holes that I want. Okay, and I'm going to have to kind of eyeball it. So here's my little holes here. Um, I believe if I go control, nope, that's control up, down, nope, that's the rotating. Jesus, um, let's go back to this. Um, I, then is it? Okay, so it's that there. Okay, uh, obviously this is huge, and so the holes are probably like that, probably. Oh. I'm gonna do. I'm so used to ZBrush. Sorry. So if I paint in, just pen sensitive flow, pen pressure. Okay. So there we go. So I put in a hole there. Now let me see. That looks quite large. Um, I don't know if. Quite sure if it's actually that large. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's pretty large. Okay, 
And then what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to change the base color to black. To kind of fake that there's a hole there. Right? See that? But really, there's not a hole. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of paint this around everything. Uh, I'm just going to paint. Right. And I don't think anyone's ever going to see the back of this, but if I end up putting this up on to um, Marmoset Viewer or whatever, people might want to take a look at it. So, so I'm just going to do it. Now the holes are looking different sized. That's not good. So I want to try and make sure that it's pretty equal in size here. Um, so I'm just going to do this all the way around. Nope, that, that's too big of a hole. There we go. Okay. Let's see, so that's there. Let's do one right here. No, that's looking pretty. There we go. And then I'll do another one, maybe like over here, just to kind of change it up so it's not like perfectly straight. Now this hole's looking a lot smaller, so I'll have to beef this hole up a tad bit. Um, that hole still looks a little bit small, so let me just make this a little bit bigger. There we go. And yeah, so there we go. So now we have a few holes in there. They're fake holes, obviously. They're not actual holes, but from a distance, I think people will understand what, what it is. And then what I'll do as well is if you look at the reference, you'll see like there's that little silver spot there. So I have to go back to my, hold on, let me make sure I call this like belt hole or something. There we go. And then um, let me quickly save this as well. I'll take a sip here of my drink. How's it going stream working? Yep, I'm, I, I see this. Uh, it's going pretty good, man. Um, sorry, I don't have multiple monitors when I'm streaming on my laptop. So I'll try and um, do my work and then I'll, I'll, I'll check chat. So yeah, so sorry if I don't... Um, um, sorry if I don't... Uh, Answer right away. All right. So here we go. Um, so yeah, so we have that. Now, me saying the whole thing about not being straight, and then all of a sudden I notice like these holes um, not being straight. I had gone in, so I'm just gonna go back to my, my mask here and I'm just going to color it black, which will make it disappear. I'm gonna press X again to invert it. Um, so I'm just inverting essentially the color that I'm painting, okay? Uh, and now I'm, I'm actually just going to move it so that it's a little bit off-centered here so that it looks a little bit more natural something like that there you go okay uh, that doesn't look like a perfect circle so let me just make sure that's a circle okay yeah there we go so there we go and then steel stained I don't know which one I'm using right now for this I think it's yeah so um, I'm gonna go into the steel material and I'm just gonna start painting around it to kind of give that um, 
that steel kind of look. Now this is going to be really tedious. Um, definitely not going to be fun. Oh, no, you know what? Dirt. I can, this is a lot easier than I think. So if I just go something like that. Uh, print sensor. Make sure we're pencil. So if I just do something like that. And then I just go erase, which is two, or you go up here. Uh, make this a lot smaller. Uh, make the, oh, sorry. Make the size a little bit smaller. And I just did something like that. Then now you can. There we go. All right, so it's just a little little hack there that will help make that work. Um, happy Tuesday, man. Happy Tuesday, dude. Uh, welcome to the stream, by the way. Thank you so much uh, for uh, actually coming to watch. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do that the whole time. I'm going to go one again to brush, and I'm going to... So this looks like it might be a little bit too big. Let's see. We'll see. Uh, no, okay, so that's good. And then I'm gonna go back to two again to erase. I'm just going to erase right inside there, right inside the hole here. And it should create that nice illusion of a hole now, right? So just some nice little tips and tricks there. Obviously, again, I'll be cutting this part out on for YouTube as well, and then I'll post it up as a separate video. Um, for those who aren't able to watch live, uh, there we go. So just something like that. Go to two. Just gonna erase this in here, and there you have it. Um, are you in school for design or just streaming for fun? I'm just streaming for fun, to be honest with you. Um, I. Uh, I'm actually working. Uh, I work at EA. Um, I don't know if you can you guys see my cool shirt that EA gave me. No, you guys can't see it. Uh, EA gave us, or at least my team gave us some cool shirts uh, last week. Uh, I worked on Garden Warfare uh, two, so um, I get to represent by. Uh, Wearing some PVZ swag. Here we go. PVZ swag. Um, I mainly stream video editing and motion graphics animation. This is cool to see. Oh, cool, man. Cool. Uh, are you a student as well, or are you a professional working at a studio right now? Yeah, so I'm literally just gonna be doing this for the next little bit. Sorry, this is a little bit boring. Um, but yeah, see, like from far away, like this, like it looks, it looks real. Like, <laughs> like it looks like there is a hole there. Um, so I think it's doing a good job at faking um, geometry. Obviously, if you look at it very, very closely, like where I'm at, you can totally tell that I'm faking it, but... In movies and video games, it's all about getting away with faking it, right? To save your team on budget, or whatever, and all that, right? Uh, let me double check here. So it's been already half an hour. So yeah, so I'll be streaming for another half an hour. Um, let me just do something like that, erase here, um, obviously this month has been huge for EA with all the sports titles um, being released, so You might be interested in something I'm working on myself. I started a site for creative streamers with the idea we can all learn faster from each other by sharing our work process. Cool, man. Yeah, we'll uh, send over the link and uh, I'll definitely try and check it out. There we 
go. And I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much it for all the holes. So there we go. All right, this is definitely coming along rather nicely now. Um, Change the color on the gold, which now makes it look less um, yellow compared to what it was before. All right, so let me quickly just save that. And now I have two options. I can go back and fix that other problem that I had. Um, not the other problem, but... Uh, watchmework.com if you want to check it out alright awesome man well thank you so much for dropping by and uh, letting me know that I'll also obviously this is going to be on my YouTube and stuff like that so people um, can also check it out as well alright so alright so now I can go back and let's tr try and figure out again this is not me going through the detail yet. The detail is going to come with like edge damage, adding some scratches here and there, making sure that the materials aren't so polished, right, and like brand new. This isn't supposed to be like a, a completely brand new sword that Jon Snow has had received, right? Like I want to, I, but I also don't want it to be completely busted either. I want it to be worn like it's been used, but not, um, not like he hasn't taken care of it. Like I still want to make it look like he's taking care of it. But there's just natural wear and tear that's going to happen to this asset. Um, so I'll be going through that as well. Um, but this stage right now is just the first stage of texturing, which is just putting in the materials um, quickly, seeing how it looks together with everything. Um, so that's kind of the first part that we're working on right now. Um, and I think we've pretty close to nailing, like this is this is the, the, the first part. And I feel like we're pretty close to being finished this first part now um, what, I, what I do realize is I this pattern that I had added onto the leather has also been added to the handle here is I can get lonely even on twitch so we created a pairing system that auto pairs you with another creative streamer so you always have someone to co-work with and bounce ideas off oh okay that's really cool actually um, that's a really unique and cool idea um, So give me a second here. So just going to yeah, I'll definitely look into it, man. That sounds like a really really cool idea. So um, that's definitely something that is a problem right now on creative, uh, on Twitch, obviously. Um, so yeah, um, I'll definitely take a look. So for the sheath pattern, uh, I'm just gonna go back to paint. I'm gonna go and um, go back to paint and I'm gonna paint, or I'm gonna go to object mode and I'm just going to uh, select object and I'm gonna remove this object right here. There, cool. So now it doesn't have that pattern going on it. Uh, and it only has the pattern on the sheath. All right, so now another thing that I'm not really a big fan of right now is this part here. So I need to kind of fix that. Um, go back to paint mode, which is over here, or press one for hotkeys, control save. I'm gonna create the red eye that's inside the handle. So right now, um, Oh geez. So if you take a look at, uh, da, 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 that's no, I don't. It always puts me back into this pen mode, which is just driving me nuts. So let me get rid of this pen mode. Let's go to here. You'll see. Well, you'll see that there's like that red eye. So I need to kind of create that. There. That's a really good view of that. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna create a new folder. So for me, what I do is every folder is essentially a material, okay? Uh, and so this material is gonna be like the red, um, I don't know, gem or whatever. I'll, I'll call it a red gem. Uh, and then in here, I'm gonna add a, a fill layer, which is the actual material itself. 
right? And then this is going to be um, like a red. Like a red. Right now, the material uh, is being applied to everything because there's no mask. So I'm going to add a black mask to the material uh, or for this whole layer. And then I'm going to go paint. And I'm going to paint that little area with the eye. Okay, so this obviously this brush is huge. I'm just gonna go and paint this eyeball here. Okay. So I'm just gonna paint this in here. Oof. It's a lot harder than it look than it looks. Uh here we go. Paint this eyeball. Just gonna finesse this a little bit more. There you go. Okay, and again, I'm just blocking this in. Just looking at the eyeball, I can already tell that my my scale for the eyeball was complete, not completely off, but definitely is not perfect. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so now I have this cool looking eyeball mast. Right. Um, it looks like it might be a tad bit darker. So the, the red is a little bit too red. So I'm going to change the material, bring it down to like maybe something like, something like that, maybe. <laughs> okay, and then so I don't think I. Don't need a height mask. I don't need a normal mask. Um, roughness, I'll definitely need metal. It's not going to be a metal, so I'm just turn off metal. Uh, so roughness, it's definitely um, it's definitely smooth, right? So I'm gonna definitely make it like let's just point two. I think it's okay. Um, so yeah, so that should be okay. Like the eye seems to be like a nice, like if I had to guess, the eye is like something like this, right? And then this kind of, this kind of goes into, or it almost looks like it's something like that. But right now the sculpt does not follow that contour, so I'm just going to leave it. For now. But yeah, so essentially that's what that looks like. Um, now, what I'm not happy about with this is just the material of it. So right now it's like a plastic, right? And so I'm just going to go to basic plastic here, which is what um, they had made. And I'm going to dial back the roughness a little bit. Because it definitely has like a smooth smoothness too. Yeah, there we go. It should have a little bit of a sheen to it. Whereas bef before it was like quite rough. And it wasn't really giving it a nice sheen to it. And a lot of this like generated stuff is not looking very good. Like honestly, like this edge damage, not a big fan of it right now. Um, the scratches I don't mind. I don't, yeah, the scratches I don't mind. The dirt, the dirt I don't mind. It's this edge damage that's really bugging me. Um, so I'm either gonna have to figure out a good kind of balance uh, between it. Um, I don't know if there's any good email to follow up with. I have to run, but it was fun hanging out here. Feel free to come and get touch. Yep, sounds good, man. Sounds good. Uh, so let's go into. The... I'm gonna go to edge damage, and I'm gonna figure out the mask. Obviously, because the mask is what's making it look like this. I can also manually go in and paint out some of the areas that I don't like, as well. Um, but I'm just gonna do this for now. So. Global balance. Let's try and crank this down a little bit. Okay, and then 
yeah see there's not that much blotchiness to it right it's just a lot of like edge flow stuff <clears throat> um so i'm gonna try ambient occlusion see if this helps create a cool effect nope that didn't do anything curvature let's go look at curvature let's dial back the curvature see if that does anything so that does help out a little bit it kind of just add spots where um, it might be damaged now to be fair a lot of the damage should be happening at the very top here right and um, essentially all the outer like this edge maybe this top part this top part this area here should have a lot of damage to it um, these this edge here should have some damage to it so for me I think I'm gonna go in and I'm actually gonna paint my own my own edge damage just because I'm not happy with edge damage here so what I can do here is I can just I'm gonna go add paint and then I'm gonna pick a brush that's kind of um, that has like a little bit more kind of grunge to it so maybe something like dirt right and then what I can do now is I can just start kind of painting so that's not exactly what I want um, so the flow is not correct this here's flow is good spacing So if I go something like this, there we go. So that's a little bit more of what I want. So if I go, um, so these scratches here, first off, these scratches are not, uh, there's no height to them. So I'm going to add a little bit of height to them. So there you go. See, so now we have a little bit more kind of damage to it. Again, these scratches, I don't know what the mask looks like, um, but I can go in and I can add in another paint on top of it and then I can um, if I go black and I start to remove some areas that I don't like um, then I can do that okay I can go in let's go back to like the regular brush here so if I go here and then I just start to paint out some of those right so that it's only happening at like the very top or something then I can do that as well okay for now we're just gonna leave it the way it is but um, that's definitely something that I'm gonna be going in and doing um, so there's like um, I'm gonna do like a general dirt as well uh, so let's go let's find smart mask I'm gonna do um, dust dirty that might be a good one um, you too buddy take it easy um, so again my laptop I mean it's it's working pretty hard right now um, it's streaming it's loading all the stuff let me maybe close down Maya since I'm not using it right now, so to kind of give it back more resources because it's kind of lagging a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> um, dust dirty, dust occlusion. That might be what I'm looking for. yeah okay so if I go dust occlusion so if I go and let's create a new material here uh, let's call this um, plastic dirt or something that kind of matches this kind of dirt looks like grass or something but for now we'll just call it that um, we'll make it a little bit darker uh, and then what we'll do is we'll call this, uh, we'll add a black mask to it. And then we're going to drag a smart mask into it. So uh, dust occlusion, so if 
like that. There. See, so now it's kind of there's that dirt going into there, which I think is what I'm what I want. Uh, and then uh, let's see. So the dirt level. Let's crank up the dirt level a bit because it has been used. There we go. That's starting to look a little bit more like what I want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So now, we're even in here, now we're getting spots where it's what I want. And then dirt contrasts. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Grunge them out. Let's get some more grunge in there. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. There you go. Um, now this is starting to look a little bit black. Um, it's not that black. So I can go back in now to this material. Again, I don't need uh, a height for this. I don't need, I mean, a height might not be a bad thing. Just to kind of give it a little bit more noise. Um, don't need metal for sure. Uh, roughness. Uh, let's see what the roughness is. The roughness is that right now. It's supposed to be like dirt. So let's bring that down to like that. Just kind of give it more rough feel to it. Um, I am starting to see my seams a little bit here. So again, that comes down to UVs. Um, from this distance, you're not going to see it. When you're up close, you're going to start to see it a little bit more. So I need to kind of go in and either one re-UV it or check where I'm painting things manually that's causing the seams to show up because if I remove that right you don't see the seam so um, there's obviously something here uh, inside this uh, mask that's uh, making it making the seam look very obvious so um, definitely something that I'll, I'll take a look at later um Let's see, so we have this. Oh yeah, I was saying this is a little bit too black. So let's go with like a little bit more yellowy, kind of green, yellowy black. Yeah, maybe something like, uh, maybe a little bit more yellow, yeah. Uh, we'll take it down just a little bit more. There you go. A little bit more yellow, let's see. Um, let's bring it just a tad bit more yeah there we go all right so that now it's like a yellowy black um so that looks and that's coming along now see now that this is a little bit shinier it looks a little bit more like this which is nice um, cool 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 all right, let's quickly save this before things start breaking on me. Uh, let's see how much time I have left here. So we have another probably 10 minutes. Um, another 10 minutes. So now do I go back and do that sheath? Uh, do I want to? I don't know. I don't know. Um, now, one thing that I don't like about this steel, I'm going to make some adjustments to this steel. Now, is this steel stained even being used anymore? I'm trying to see here. I don't think the stained steel is being used anymore. I think it's this steel that's being used everywhere. Yeah. So I can probably just delete this because this is now uh, not being used. Uh, okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Whoop. I guess it was being used somewhere. Uh, paint. Let's go. Um, object uh, X to, X to switch it to black and white or invert your color. I'm just going to. There we go. Okay. Now I'm noticing that this uh, material is. No, not leather. I want to go to steel. And uh, the base color is a little bit too dark right now. Because when I render it in Marmoset, it's like super dark. So I'm going to crank this up just a tad bit. Okay. 
just a tad bit. Okay, and there we go. Okay, okay, this is definitely coming along. Coming along nicely. Uh, so now we're getting into like the more fine detail things. Um, so let's see here. I have about like 10 minutes now. Will I have, well, the 10 minutes, will I be able to actually do this in 10 minutes? I'm trying to think of what things I can do with just in 10 minutes. Um, I guess I can just show you how I would render this stuff out. So yeah, so let's just do that. So I'm, I'm just gonna save this for now. And uh, I'm gonna export out the textures. So let's export out these textures for now. Uh, PBR, PBR Metal Rough, because I'm just using, um, what's that called? I'm using Marmoset Toolbag. What are my textures settings at? There are the Targas, they are PNGs right now, which is really weird. I'm gonna change this to Targas. To Targas, and boom. Couldn't create an export of that. Oh, it's probably because of my computer at home. It's a different, uh, it's a different folder. Let's just export that right there. Cool, I'm gonna open up my folder. Uh, so now we have all these Targas here. And I'm just going to save everything. And let's load up Marmoset Tool Bag. Uh, so let's close down Substance. Um, close this down here. Did I have any more? No. Um, let's go to Marmoset. Do I have Marmoset on here? Oh my god, don't tell me I don't have Marmoset. I don't even have Marmoset. Okay, well, uh, that's a big fail. Um, Okay, well, I guess that's going to be the end of the stream for today. Uh, but yeah, so uh, you'll if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see my work in progress shot for today. Um, and um, hopefully next uh, next week or the week afterwards or whatever, you'll see another video. Next video, you'll see me continue working on details of the textures. And um, I'll have Marmoset installed. And that way, I'll show you how I would do things in Marmoset. So thank you so much. Uh, follow me on twitch.com if you want to watch me live and uh, be part of the chat. Uh, check out my art station. Follow me on art station. Subscribe to YouTube and uh, follow me on Twitter. All right. See you later.